Hey, Dave here, and welcome, my friends. Welcome to my channel. I've been getting all these requests lately that are asking me, how much did this thing cost to build? How much did this DIY sim rig cost to make? Now, it may surprise you that I've never actually told it up before. So as we go through this, I'm gonna be a little bit surprised too once we see the butcher's bill. Now, most likely, if you're serious about sim racing, you probably already have a laptop or maybe a gaming PC, something like that, and probably have a steering wheel and some pedals. So I'm not gonna include that in the cost of this two degree of freedom plus traction loss, do it yourself, motion sim rig. All right, so let's add it up, starting right now. I wanted a full frame, really strong rig. And I wanted the seat, the shifter, the wheel and the pedals all to be hooked to the same thing and have all of that moving at the same time. So steel was really the only option for me. I wanted it super strong. To make the frame out of steel, at least the upper frame, I had to buy some inch and a quarter by four foot um, square tubing. So I ended up buying four pieces of that. And for the bottom frame and the mid frame, those are six foot inch and a quarter square tubing. Also, some of the lighter things like this, uh, the frame for the uh, shifter and the upper part of the seat frame, that's inch square tubing. But yeah, so a full frame, there's a little bit more metal to it. Now, I didn't just want a seat mover that just moves the seat and nothing else, but you could build a seat mover, uh, you know, out of wood or 80-20, something like that, and it'd be a little bit cheaper but I wanted the whole experience. So please like and subscribe. Now by subscribing, you get action-packed sim racing videos, DIY sim rig videos, tips and tricks on how to build yours, great car reviews, rig modification ideas that you can use, a set of courser reviews, track reviews, a set of course of car reviews, and this is a great place to ask questions. If you have a problem with you know, hooking something up or you ha need some advice on which motors or just anything like that. I do answer the questions and you can count on them. And I give free advice and you get what you pay for. Yeah, I know my shop's a little bit messy. It is what it is and that's the way I roll. In order to hook that steel together, I needed to branch out a little bit. I needed to learn how to weld. So I went ahead and got this really expensive MIG welder. I got it from Harbor Freight. Tally it up. I also needed a hat because you will go blind without one of these. And some gloves because without gloves you'll catch yourself on fire. And finally to make it make it a little bit easier to cut the steel. I don't want to be using a hacksaw. I got this angle grinder. I'm including all of this stuff in the, the total because it's stuff I needed and hey, you know, it's about time that I learned how to do something like that. So you might be saying, dude, you spent all this money, but you haven't built anything. You just got a bunch of pieces of steel and a welding thing. Well, that's not the point. Point is right now with that, that equipment, I can build anything I want. If I can build the rig and I don't like it or it doesn't turn out right, just cut it apart, re-weld it. I can build anything I want. So it took a little while to weld her up. I made up the, the top frame and seat. I mostly worked on it on the weekend, so you know it didn't go real quick. I could have made it a lot quicker, but I was under no time crunch, and we were going through a freaking pandemic. Now I hooked the two, the upper frame and the mid frame together with this uh, U joint. Um, I got it from a salvage yard for 20 bucks. Right, so one of the most expensive parts of this rig is the seat. Now it was uh, maybe $250. It's not even a real good seat. It's a little bit narrow for me, but uh, I got it off of Amazon and it had uh, a little bit of a sim rig type uh, frame that it hooked to. The frame was very unstable, but I figured I could use the seat. So I'm gonna include the whole cost. Truth is, you could buy a better seat for the same amount of money or a cheaper seat and just not spend as much. Well, that's pretty much it for the 
the basic hard parts to get this stuff working. I got the seat, all the metal, everything welded up. The only other thing that I haven't included yet, and we'll do it now, is a half inch conduit and a pack of these 3 8 inch um, right and left hand um, tie rod ends. That go here, 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 and there's two down there that move the traction off back and forth. So let's start talking about the, the motors and then we'll get to the software, how much that stuff costs. Now you could use windshield wiper motors like these, maybe $10 a piece, 15 bucks a piece. I actually did hook them up to the rig initially just to see what if they would be good enough, but with a full frame like this, nah, these things don't have enough power. I had to go with these crab pop motors. I got them off eBay, they're $99 a piece, plus $18 shipping, I got them from Canada. I really have no complaints about that. Had to get that, some Hall Effect potentiometers, a little bit of hardware in here. I'm gonna total that up right now. That could be real. If you're just building a two degree of freedom um, seat mover, you might be able to get away with those cheaper uh, windshield wiper motors. I just couldn't do it. I needed more power, and I think we all do. Initially, I just had two of these motors, one for uh, to make a two degree of freedom. But once that thing started moving, I'm like, dude, I need the third motor. I put it right here and it drives this uh, tie rod and moves the whole platform back and forth, as you can see. Now, just a quick comparison between the windshield wiper motors and the crab pop motor. Yeah, windshield wiper motor, very, very small. Crab pop motor, way, way more powerful. All right, so to make the motors move, we're gonna need a little bit of hardware and some software. The hardware side, we need an Arduino Uno, and these are about 25 bucks. You can get them for less. And something to control the motors. The ones that I use are these IBT2 motor controllers, and they just hook up to the Arduino. There's a link in the description. Now let's move on to the software that you, you really need. The software that you're gonna need is called Sim Tools, and what it does is allows you to use the motors with the Arduino and IBT2 on different games. So you just go have it, you're gonna to have to get a license, and I'm gonna include that, that price in the description. The one that I bought was $49.99, and it works with all the different game plugins, the game manager, and the game engine. Now I do have a few videos on how to hook all these different things together, so check that out. It's not that hard. Okay, so now that you have Sim Tools, Sim Tools works with these different game plugins. Now, if you click down here, you can buy all the different plugins for say 29 pounds or a one-time like 59 pound thing. I think this is what I got. That allows you to play all these different games. You would just download the plugin for Assetto Corsa, which is my favorite game. Now this isn't much different than any of the other manufactured motion platforms that you get. If you do the research, they pretty much use a, a lot of the same software. So this is just what it is. Now I'm not gonna say go ahead and buy one of these or build it. I'm just saying that you can build it. Now, if you're happy driving your, your static rig, whether it's an 80-20 rig with a bunch of Fanatec stuff on it or DD1s, and you're very competitive and you love that kind of stuff, that's awesome. More props to you, buddy. But if you want real immersion, movement, um, both tactile, uh, motion, and everything like that, Here's a secret, VR. Oh man, do I love playing a set of course in VR. I love VR, man. I got this Oculus Rift a long time ago. I'm not gonna include that in the price because, hey, this is bare bones. So if you got a computer or a screen, you can, you can build this and that's what the whole thing is about. These are just specialty things. But uh, yeah, man, <laughs> game changer. That, the butt kickers, the wind sim, all that stuff is just stuff you can add to it to, to make it seem so real that you your brain gets tricked and you're sitting there going, man, 
This is incredible. So was it worth it? Looking at the total over there, heck yeah, for sure. Now I'm not gonna tell you, hey, you know, this is gonna solve all your problems. I'm just showing you, you can do it if you want. Now, could I have cut some corners? Yeah, sure I could have. Um, and I kinda did on a lot of this stuff. And if you're just making a maybe a, a seat mover, two degree of freedom, you can get by with, and you're making it out of wood or 80-20, don't have to buy the welder and all that stuff. Eventually it comes down to, am I worth it? Are you worth it? And I'm worth it. I'm, I like having fun like this. I like totally immersing myself in some other type of experience than just sitting there on the computer all week long. And hey, who knows how long this lockdown's gonna go for. So if you wanna build one of these things, you don't have to do it tomorrow. It's 20 bucks here, 100 bucks here, and you'll get it done. All right guys, well that's how much this thing costs. You can do it for about the same price. You could even do it for less, or you could do it for a lot more. But either way, hey, before you leave, hit that like, hit that subscribe and that bell, because you, you're gonna get some good content on my channel. Hey, Dave out, gotta get to racing.